Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday. Sorry, I just realized I was looking at the screen thing and not at the lens. So hi again, and now this time I'm looking at you. Um, it is Tuesday and I have a child off sick, which wasn't the plan, but I still have to go in for one thing today. So I've just gone to the gym, had a quick hair wash. As you can see, it's looking quite fluffy, but I really love this Rita Hazan um, shampoo and conditioner that I've been using. It's really helping my color look vibrant and alive. I absolutely love it. I'll have talked about this in my previous video, my PR unboxing and haul video, which if you haven't seen, I will link somewhere up there or down below. And yeah, I'm, I actually need to do a separate review on these shampoos and conditioners because it's absolutely gorgeous. There is a color gloss as well, which I haven't used yet. I keep forgetting. I think you use it in the shower before your conditioner. So I really need to do that because I've heard good things about that one as well. But it is now I'm late and I haven't had breakfast yet, so I need to eat something really quickly and then head out um, and get back really quickly. Because as I said, I've got one child at home. He's still fast asleep. It's my eldest one, he's 15, so I guess that's kind of normal for 15 year olds. But I still need to wake him up, otherwise he won't sleep tonight and we get into that vicious cycle of sleeping all day and not sleeping at night and he needs to be back at school. This is his GCSE year. Anyway, I'm just procrastinating and wasting time and I need to get going. Oh, by the way, this is a new jacket, which <laughs> I'm not showing you very well. This is from Miss Selfridge and it taps into that trend of the Prince of Wales check, but I didn't really want to spend too much on this because I have so many blazers and coats and jackets and things. So I thought this was quite a good buy. It was only about 20 something, 22 pounds or something like that. If I find it online, I will link it for you below. But what I really like about it is, I don't know if you can see, but it's already stitched so that it, it has got that kind of ruched up at the sleeves effect, which I really love. that 
Weird introduction to today. I've just been busy filming all morning, hence the makeup, <laughs> so much makeup. So I've been fi busy filming for today's video, the one that's going to go up tonight on Wednesday. And then I had to rush into town for a hair care launch, but I had to go before the launch event happened, if you see what I mean, because I couldn't be there at the time they were launching. But anyway, I wanted to show it to you because it sounds really, really interesting. So. This is the brand, it's called Law, and, oh, what's happening to the lighting? It's from a hair care salon called Taylor & Taylor, and it's selling in Liberty, but it sounds like such a great concept, so I really wanted to tell you about it. I've got some bits in here from there. They were really kind and accommodated me and let me pop in while they were still setting up, bless them. So, yeah, the brand is called Law, L-O-R-E available in Liberty is also available online I think and available in their salons and um, but it's all completely vegan purely vegan including the packaging and the fragrance and everything and it's a really capsule collection there's six products in the range so there's one shampoo and one conditioner which I'm gonna put there and I have got a sachet of their hair mask it's a dry hair mask I love the photography on there. It's a dry hair mask, so it's really easy to put on. You know, you can put it on just like I normally do. I put it on and then I get on with my day or I get on with my chores or whatever. So it's not one of these ones, you know, where you have to wash your hair, then put the mask in for 15 minutes. So, I mean, you can't stand around. I can't stand around in a shower for 15 minutes and then nip back in the shower. I, ha I haven't got time for that. So something like this, the concept is great. And then I've got one other product to try and they have given me the Prepare and Protect. It's one of the styling products. So there's three treatment products, the shampoo, conditioner and the mask, which comes in separate sachets. I think you get six in a sachet. And then there are three styling products of which I have one here, which is their Prepare and Protect. So I think that's going to help with things like frizz. Um, so I'm going to try these, although you know I've been loving my Rita Hazan. Look how good my colour looks with my Rita Hazan products, which I keep going on about on my Instagram. But yeah, I'm going to give these a try as well. That's all I've got in the bag right now. But yeah, so, oh I've just moved the camera. But yeah, so I've just got back, hence my eyes are watery from the wind outside. I don't know why this happens to me. Uh, yeah, I've been filming this morning. I actually filmed two videos which should go up back to back, but they won't obviously because one will be a vlog in between. And I just realized as well that I haven't filmed a favorites for October. So I need to do that as well. It's going to be a bit of a weird week this week in terms of the vlog. So I hope you'll bear with me. And next week, as you know, is my anniversary, wedding anniversary and my husband's birthday. So I'm not quite sure how much of that I can film. Purely because, you know, he doesn't come on camera. He doesn't want to be on my YouTube channel and I can't convince him. Um, but yeah, there is another hair care event tonight and I can't go, but I'm sure I will get some products from there. It's a brand that I love already and use all the time. So once I get the sample products to try out, I will definitely let you know about it. But right now I need to go and have lunch quickly before I start the school run. So I will catch you guys in a minute. Welcome to Thursday guys. It's been a really funny old morning. Didn't get to the gym, had too much work to do, but managed to finish editing my video and then managed to fit in a meeting. Was gonna go shopping at Phoenix because they've got 20% off, but didn't have time and uh, doing a very impromptu lunch with some friends at the arts club but in the rush to get out I forgot to put my memory card into my camera so now I'm filming today on my phone everyone it is Friday we have made it through to Friday I'm absolutely shattered but I have a really lovely day ahead of me so I can't complain too much I left you yesterday without much <laughs> much in the way of vlogging so I walked into the arts club and then it just all went crazy and I wasn't able to vlog anything at all 
Oh, sorry, I'm actually lying down in bed. I've got my makeup done, haven't done my hair yet, story of my life. Um, so yes, back to yesterday, had a really lovely lunch, met some new women as well, which was really good because they were just lovely women and very supportive women and very inspirational women. One is becoming a yoga teacher, the other one is a very well-known nutritionist. And then the evening was busy too. I had a school social, so 75 parents. I mean, normally people don't show up. Well, they don't even confirm actually for school socials. You probably know that. But this time 75 people, or 78 people confirmed and 75 people actually showed up. I mean, there were hardly any dropouts as well. So it was a very busy day yesterday. I'm shattered today and I'm so glad that it's Friday. But today we are going out to see the Basquiat exhibition at the Barbican and then a bite to eat with some of my friends for lunch, um, for a birthday lunch. It's a double birthday. And it's one of those groups of friends where they don't really like the vlogging thing or they don't get the vlogging thing, I think, more than anything else. So I'm not quite sure how much I will vlog of today. I will try. And the other good news for me is that my husband is coming back from New York today, so that'll be good to have him back for the weekend because he's been away all week, which A, I miss him when he's not here, and B, it means everything falls on me, you know, in terms of parental duties and stuff. So it'll be good to have him back, but I'll be out when he gets back, which is a shame, but it's my friend's birthdays, so I have to be there on time. And yeah, now I need to get dressed. I'm still in my school run comfies this huge under armor black sweatshirt which i know that both my girls are trying to nick from me so i have to keep a very close eye on this and just my black leggings everyday black leggings and i don't know what to wear the weather is really really weird here in london at the moment it's cold but sunny but not that cold i mean i was dying of being overheated yesterday at the parent social last night so yeah i have to get dressed not quite sure what to wear of course i've got my makeup done already and uh, yeah, the hair does need doing. I'm trying to decide whether to get my hair done tomorrow or wait till after and do it next weekend. But as I've said before, I think in this vlog, it is my wedding anniversary this coming week and my husband's birthday. So I kind of want my hair done in time for that. But it doesn't really need doing until next week. I'm talking about roots and color, obviously. So not quite sure what to do there either. And now I am just rambling. So. Let's get ready. Just in the lifts at the Barbican, I'm running super late. My eyes are watering as ever because I was walking so fast in the rain, but not the rain, in the wind. But hopefully my friends will have waited for me before we go in. So excited to see this. Somebody.
गुड मॉर्निंग Good morning everyone on this Sunday morning. It's one of those days where everyone is asleep. Oh, I'm not in the frame. Everyone is asleep and it is just me awake and the cats. So that noise that you can hear, that's the tap running because Zeus and Hercules like to drink their water from the tap. Even though there is water, yep, there is water in their food bowls. They don't want to drink from that. They want the water from the tap. So um, let me see if I can show you one second. Anyway, I hope you can bear with me with the noise of the water, but um, I thought that I would just hop on here now because I'm not really gonna be doing that much today. And it's been a funny old weekend, actually. I think that something I ate on Friday, so we went for this Chinese lunch on Friday. Sorry, I just thought I'd shut the door. Um, yeah, it's been a funny old weekend. I can't remember when I left you. I think we went into this, I think it might have been after the Basquiat exhibition and then we went for Chinese to this very very beautiful place in the city we could see the Tower of London from the restaurant it was the Chinese restaurant inside the Four Seasons and I can't remember exactly what it was called I think it was called Mei Umi or something like that anyway I will try and find the name and put it in the description box below really really beautiful food was so tasty we actually ended up reordering bits that were lovely and we wanted more of but I have a feeling I'm allergic to scallops. I'm not quite sure. And it might not have been that, but I think that it might be. And yeah, I just felt really quite ill after the lunch. So that was kind of my Friday written off, really. I couldn't go home on the tube. I just felt too ill. So I ended up taking an Uber all the way home. And um, yeah, and then my husband came back on Friday from New York, which was great. So that was really, really nice to see him because I hadn't seen him for a whole week but I wasn't feeling great and Saturday yesterday I wasn't feeling great either and luckily we had no plans last night which was so nice I just went out for dinner with the children and they chose Nando's so we went and had Nando's but I wasn't hungry because I actually didn't feel very well I am not quite sure why I'm sure it was the food and I can see I just realized I've been rambling on for three minutes like when I get puffy under my eyes like you can see there that means that I've eaten something that doesn't agree with me it's almost like my allergic reaction barometer type of thing. Um, yeah, so I, <laughs> I went to bed before everyone last night, before my husband, before the children. I was fast asleep before anyone came to bed. So I'm up bright and early on this Sunday morning, but we haven't got that much going on today either. I'm so pleased, so grateful for a very quiet, family-focused weekend. Um, but I thought that I might just open up, I've got three parcels that arrived on Friday and by the time I got back on Friday I wasn't in any state to open them. So I thought that I would end this vlog with opening up three parcels. I have no idea what's in there so they might be really really boring for which I apologise in advance. Hi Zeus! Just wait for Zeus to head back and over to the tap. So, oh he wants more water, one second. I'm sure it's going to knacker the, our washers in the taps, but the things we do for our cats, hey? So yeah, let me open up these three parcels before I end this vlog. So these are the three parcels that I've got to open and you're really precariously balanced up on a couple of uh, vitamin bottles actually in the kitchen. So I'm going to do it really gently because I don't want to knock the camera over and probably just risk breaking it. But okay, let's open up this one ordered anything for a while and I actually haven't been in touch with any PRs for a while so I have no idea what's coming. Oh beautifully presented look at how beautiful that box is that's gorgeous and this lollipop I don't know if you can see it's got lots of gold glitter inside a clear lollipop oh how wonderful this is a 
Sonic cleansing brush. I'm just going to show you, just show you on the card there. It's a little Sonic technology cleansing brush. It looks really, really cute. Look at that. You can see the size of that in her hand. Really easy to hold and ergonomically designed. I think I might take a photograph of this. I'm sorry. I'm going to take a photograph of this before I open it because I'll never be able to wrap it up again like this to open. So I'll show you this in my next week's vlog. I'll be using it during the week to try it out, I'm sure. So make sure to watch next week's vlog where I show it to you properly. This is from a brand that I love. I can't even tell you how many hundreds and hundreds of pounds I've spent on Trish McAvoy products. But I don't even regret it because the products always live up to, oh, they're just beautiful and they work really well, well thought out. The skincare is gorgeous. So let's see what's inside. More really cute packaging. I think this is a little Christmas gift set so you can see what's inside there. I think this little kit is called Confidence To Go. It's always called The Power Of Makeup. I think that's Trish McAvoy's trademark. Let's open this up. So if you don't know the Trish McAvoy products, it's the, it's almost like a Filofax system that you carry your makeup around in. I think I featured it in one of my previous what I took on holiday makeup videos, so I will make sure to link that for you somewhere up there. Um, look at that. How compact is that? So on this side, it's like a double-sided pouch on this side. Got a beautiful design on the front and it's almost like a suede type of material so if you open that up oh it's got all her little classic iconic mini brushes in it so there's an angled brush let me just show you there's an angled brush a couple of eyeshadow brushes i guess that's more for bronzer and um i think that's for bronzer maybe that's a foundation brush I'm not quite sure, I'll have to look into it. And then, this is what's really exciting, a mini of the gel eyeliner, which I do not live without, I cannot live without. I have this in deep, deep, deep navy, and then I have it in a black, and I can't live without it. This one is in the shade Deep Aubergine. Oh, that's gonna be so, so flattering. It's like, if you can't use a gel eye, if you, let me come down here. If you can't use a gel eyeliner um, with a brush and everything and it's too much of a faff, this is your new best friend. It's the best thing. And then on this side, looks like there's a little compact in there. So let's take that out. Oh, look at that. So in there is just about everything you would need for an everyday face. So we've got a blusher, a highlighter, and a bronzer. That would probably be more of a face powder for me than a bronzer, but I love these eyeshadow shades. Just perfect for every day, really, really lovely. So there's a, almost like a ballerina pink, a light taupe there, and then something that's kind of aubergine but not too dark. So perfect for eyelining and for the crease. Really pretty. And really, really portable as well. So much more portable than the little mini Filofax that I have, because that's quite bulky, actually. And I don't know about you, but I know that I've sized down a lot into little mini handbags, so I can't really take my Trish McAvoy um, Filofax thingy with me, because it's too thick. It's about this thick. Um, this just is really, really portable, and that could fit into almost the smallest of handbags as well. Love that. That's such a nice gift idea as well. Let's look. So that's available right now in Harvey Nichols, Selfridges and Liberty. So yeah, if you're shopping for yourself or actually for gifts, I think that's a really lovely idea. And that retails at 55 pounds, which is actually really good value because you've got four brushes and it doesn't look like they've sized down the heads of the brushes. So the heads of the brushes, the exact same size of the full size brushes. It's just the handles that are smaller designed exactly like a Trish McAvoy brush. The clear handle. Yep, it says so actually, sorry. Full size luxury heads with mini downsized handles. I love this, such a nice idea, Trish. I've met Trish as well a couple of times when I've been to events as a paying customer, not as a beauty journalist. And she's lovely and she just knows so much and I can't remember exactly what it is her husband does but he um he's a scientist of some sort or something or skin I don't know but anyway so her skincare products are 
formulated with so much science in mind. I love, oh, I can't, talk, I can't say enough nice things about Trish McAvoy products. And that's always been as a paying customer. So it's really lovely to receive something as a journalist. Thank you guys. Okay, last but not least is quite a big packet. So let's open this one up. See the kitchen now, it's a complete not a tip. I need to tidy this up before anyone comes down. Ah, it's a new in styler for the hair. So I've used one of these before. I have a, a bright pink fuchsia one. Maybe this is a new design, a new style. I'm gonna open this up for right now because I'm going to wash my hair today and I'm going to use this. I love my in styler that I have. It is brilliant for smoothing the hair. You can straighten the hair, you can curl the hair. You can do all of that with it. This one, from the looks of the press release, looks like it says it has four heat settings, which I don't think my old one has, so that's good to know because I'm trying to use less heat on my hair. I'm going as cool as I can with my heat settings. Let's have a look. Oh, this is different. It's a rotating iron and it can add two times the body and shine. So yeah, I'm gonna wash my hair today, because you can tell it needs it. And yeah, I'm gonna use that. So that's it for this vlog. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that it's, it's been a little bit odd, but that's because I've been feeling a little bit off the weather off the weather under the weather this week or rather this weekend thanks for bearing with me and i hope you guys have had a really nice weekend by the time you watch this it will be late sunday evening so gearing up for monday again <laughs> and yeah i will see you guys in my next video on wednesday oh don't miss wednesday's video that is my fendi reveal so if you watched last Wednesday's haul video, you'll know that I held back on opening up that big Fendi yellow carrier bag. And that's what I'm gonna reveal on Wednesday. So make sure to head back to my channel on Wednesday and I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Have a good week, guys. Bye.